Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be watching episode 7 of the Apothecary Diaries today. Y'all, I have been enjoying this show so much. I feel like the last two episodes, they were like the peak of the show so far for me. Seeing Mau Mau get so excited about the poison, but also seeing Jinji show so much care and sympathy and protectiveness over over Mau Mau for what she had to go through, the fact that she had to draw freckles on her face and everything. And I'm just like, I'm so excited to see where their relationship goes. Y'all, I have no idea if Mau Mau is ever gonna reciprocate feelings for Jinchi, but right now we know that Jinchi really adores Mau Mau. She's like the only one that he truly likes and it's because she doesn't give in to his shit, <laughs> you know? Um, okay, let's get into episode 7, everyone. If you're watching this over on YouTube, we have early access over on Patreon. We also have time reactions over there. You do have to sync up your own copy of the show with my reaction. But without further ado, let's watch episode 7 of The Apothecary Diaries. <laughs> Mau Mau backstory? <laughs> my goodness, she's so tiny and cute. Also, her father is so old. Like, what's happening there? Episode 7, Homecoming. Is she gonna go home? Oh my god. <laughs> Is already noon? Well, she probably deserved it. Deserved that sleep, you know? Yeah, putting her freckles back on. Oh my god, everyone was like, Mama, you're so beautiful and pretty. Gaoshin? Is that the cute, like, puppy boy? Oh. <laughs> That's cute. Oh. 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 Oh, fingerprints. What the heck? Mau Mau. Mau Mau is so smart, you guys. Wow. So this is the, how they're going to figure out who poisoned this, yes? Oh, she's going to start with the poisoned。<sighs> Yes. Mamo has to back this taste of rub. Yeah. Okay, so she's going to Oh my god, they're... The way that they bully her! Yeah, she's going to have to decide between her and Jinji. Are they like really jealous of her? Yes, they are. Oh, okay. And... Mau Mau. You amaze me, honestly. 
なぜ昨日あの毒味薬の事情を変わおうとしたのですか I mean... <笑>ゲジョの命など、キサキに比べたら、軽くたやすいものです。毒味薬の命ともなれば。ジン様にはうまく説明します。ありがとうございます。Why isn't Jinchi here? You would think that Jinchi would want to talk to Mamo, but maybe he's busy. 毒の味見ができたし。<笑> God, Mama was amazing. She just swallowed that soup. Mama, stop that. The way that she knew that the serpent girl would probably get so hurt. He's so tired. Look at the hairpin. He's so real for this. Wait, I love seeing this, though. ダメです。何を言ってもダメか。<笑>長い付き合いです。生まれた時から面倒を見られるのも厄介なものだな。おお。かんざしさしたままですよ。本当のゴミ分に気づく者はいないかと。頼むわ、保管。What do you mean? 特別な方しか身につけられないものです。スペシャルインディビジュアルズ。わかってるよ。ジンシー。わかってません。No, okay. Okay, ジンシー。Has to be some sort of royalty. Perhaps the、um, Emperor's brother? I know they mentioned him last episode. Or maybe two episodes ago. You can get out of the rear palace with the hairpins? How does she know this? <laughs> That's amazing! Okay, wait. She could actually go see her father. She's so cute. I love her. Four hairpins. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, wait. If he is royalty, then I don't think he would actually be a, a, a eunuch. Consolation hairpin! Stop, don't turn her down like this. She looks so different. <laughs> no! This guy! I thought he was really nice! He has actually been so mean! <laughs> Oh my god. Mamo has something for him. Okay. Girl! What do you that is so funny. Oh my god. Mamma knows persuasion. Wow. Okay, wait. Silver hairpin obviously outranks him. The one from Jinshi. おめでとう。私たちより先にママオが本当に良かった。にしたに出会えたのね。ん？俺はどうございます。どうしてそんなに軽いの？大丈夫ですよ。お土産は買ってきます。どういう経緯で？あの様子じゃ、感謝しの意
<laughs> Jinji thought that she was gone forever, perhaps. Look at this guy. Their worship? That's crazy. How long has it been? <gasps> she is pissed off. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Could this be what? What do you mean? What are they gonna do with him? <laughs> Ten months. Okay, listen, Grams. She was kidnapped. Okay. She tried sending a letter. Oh. 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 <笑>特別に先払いにしてもらったのか。あ、じゃあパーリンだ。うん、ちゃくらいなら運負けてくれ。あの、デップしてパイリンが何もしないわけない。Who <笑> He's probably so worried about Mao Mao. God, that sunset. The sky is always so gorgeous in this show. I hope he's okay. I hope he's alive. Oh my gosh. You were out for a while. Yes, 10 whole months. Why is he so nonchalant about it? Must be so nice to be home. Talking with your father after so long. He looks so sad. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why do I feel like he has some sort of connections to the real rear palace? I'm so confused. Okay, so I feel like so much happened in this episode. First of all, Mamo showed how smart she was by like trying to find the fingerprints on that cup. Um, they narrowed it down to four people. Maybe actually three people because the lady in waiting, she was bullying um Lady Li Shu, but Mamo thinks that it was not her that poisoned it, right? Because she flipped it around, and luckily Li Li Shu didn't get poisoning. Also, Jin Shi, Jin Shi was having this conversation with um, what's his face, and they apparently grew up together. He has been taking care of Jin Shi his whole life. Um, it was honestly hilarious to see Jin Shi sulking like that and be like so down because we've never seen that side of him before. But one, I don't think Jin Shi's a eunuch. Two, I feel like he has to be some sort of royalty if he had this dude taking care of him throughout his whole life. But then that makes me wonder what happened? What happened with his family? Why is he in this position? I know they talked about a brother in the last episode, uh, one of the emperor's brothers. I don't remember if they said that he like if he died or what, but I swear Jinji has to be that brother. I have so many questions though. Okay, but now Mao Mao is home. Um, she's with her father, and her father was being very mysterious at the end of the episode, talking about the rear palace. What a coincidence and it is that she's there. And so I feel like her father has to have some sort of connections to the rear palace. I also would like to say I don't think that her father is actually related to Mao Mao. He's just so old. Right? And so that makes me believe that he is more of a like adoptive father to Mamo. Um, I don't really know what would happen to Mamo's actual parents, but I don't know, maybe maybe he actually is her father, biological father, and he just had a child very late in his life. But so many questions, y'all. I love this show so much. Holy crap. I'm gonna go watch the next episode though. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one for episode eight. Alright, bye.